Hi everyone, Miss Christine with Sis by Chris for Mindful Makers Collective. I thought I'd talk a little bit today about how nature inspires me to create and how being inspired by nature, I want to care for it and how life-giving that is. These are flowers from my garden. Many are edible and I plan to make jellies out of them. I press the flowers as well and use them in card making, paper, and other art. The tiny ones I use to decorate my nails with. Here are some of the jellies that I've made out of purple and white lilacs. This is a paper filigree poppy. Here is a butterfly book fold. I also make soap and use my flowers to decorate the top of the soap before it sets. Here are some red and yellow onion skins that I'm saving for a dye bath for paper dyeing. Here's a quick look at some of the pressed flowers glued onto different types of paper. These ones are all dyed with natural dyes. This one is a coffee filter. And this is a piece of watercolor paper that I just did some quick watercolor on. Nature has also inspired many of my face paint designs. as well as paper filigree cards. This is the front and inside of another nature inspired card. It's one of my favorites. These are some roses made from maple leaves. This is a quilted postcard. I super love this flowered handbag. This piece is made of violas and coffee filters with child markers. Here are some beads made out of willow and this is the jewelry I made from it. Pretty yellow lockbox. Here's a paper piecing portrait of my quintessential pretty kitty. I want to talk a little about how being inspired by nature to create makes me want to care for it. These are monarch caterpillars. These guys are about seven days old. They molt four times in two weeks. And for several reasons, they have only a 5% chance of survival in the wild. So it's good to bring them inside and foster them indoors. This can be done in an apartment as long as you have a source for milkweed. So I trade for some and some people gave me some free and I also started growing my own. And this fat little dude is 14 days old and he's almost ready to J which is where he makes a J formation after he climbs up as high as he can get and then he'll form a chrysalis. Hey there chrysalis. Here are a few ready to be closed. Be closed but not ready to fly. Ready to be released. And it's a boy. You can tell because he has dots at the back of his feathers. Another important creative outlet for me is gardening and it's also crucial for pollinators. These mums will bloom in the fall. The yarrow to the left is for medicinal purposes. And the red flowers at the back are Maltese cross. Those are for hummingbirds. Lots of moths are enjoying my kale. At the back are several milkweed plants monarchs are laying eggs on, as well as geraniums and calla lilies. These are pansies and violas for pollinators and jellies. The sedum isn't blooming yet. These tomatoes will be used to make soap. A couple of turtle topiaries I made last year. This is my little nursery of milkweed for butterflies and hollyhocks for other pollinators.